Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to study equilateral, isosceles and scalene triangles and in general triangle classification. First of all, some definitions. What is an equilateral triangle? It basically is a triangle where all three sides are congruent. All three sides measure the same. Okay, and it comes, you can see it in the name, equi meaning same and lateral having to do with sides, same sided triangle. Isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. This and this side are congruent, the same length. The third side might not be. This and this side are congruent and the third side is not. I think of it as a same legged triangle because it's like you can think of somebody standing and his legs here, a person's legs, this leg and this leg being of the same length, okay. Scalene triangle is where all three sides are of different lengths. So if a triangle is not equilateral and not isosceles, it is scalene. And here we have six triangles that we need to classify according to the sides and according to the angles. Okay? According to the angles, we classify triangles as acute, obtuse or right. And according to sides, we classify them as equilateral, isosceles or scalene. Okay? And number one here. It is a right angle. Well, obviously it's a right triangle then. According to angles, it is classified as a right triangle. According to sides, you check if there are any congruent sides. No? Scalene. So we can call it a right scalene triangle. Then number two. Oh, I forgot to mark them. These two sides are congruent. So this time we have a right triangle, but since its two sides are congruent, it is isosceles. An isosceles right triangle, or a right isosceles triangle. This one has two sides that are the same, so it is isosceles. And as far as the angles go, you notice here this angle here is an obtuse angle, that makes it an obtuse triangle. It doesn't matter, you don't have to look at the other angles. The other angles are acute, but if it has one obtuse angle, it's an obtuse triangle. If it has one right angle, it's a right triangle. I mean, it could not have two right angles anyway. And it could not have two obtuse angles anyway. It wouldn't be a triangle then. Number four, again, two congruent sides, again an isosceles triangle. And its angles here, there's a sharp or acute angle, all are acute. All angles are acute, so an, an acute triangle this time. Number five, okay, all of its sides are marked being congruent, so it is equilateral. And all of its angles are acute. It's an acute triangle. Acute equilateral triangle. Now, all equilateral triangles are always acute anyway. Number six, nothing special about its sides, so it is scalene. And angles, I see one obtuse angle, so it is obtuse. Scalene triangles can be obtuse or acute or right. Draw an isosceles triangle. Measure its angle. How do you draw an isosceles triangle? It doesn't say anything about its side lengths or anything. All we need to do is make sure that our triangle has two sides that are of the same length. So I can just pick a number, let's say that I choose 30 centimeters. And I will just draw a side that is 30 and draw another side that is 30 centimeters. Or some other number, but I think 30 will work well for me. Okay, that side is 30 and then I'll just draw randomly somewhere going. And it's 30. Then I'll just draw in the third side. That's my triangle. Measure its angles now. About 37 degrees here. Okay, now you see the angle measurements that there's two angles that are congruent or the same, okay? And this angle is something different. It actually always happens that in an isosceles triangle 
we have two angles that are congruent, and those angles are called the base angles. Let me sketch here one, the sketch an isosceles triangle. If these sides are congruent, then these two angles become, they're called the base angles. And they are congruent. This one here is called the top angle, and it measures something different. If I add these angle measures, I get 144, 174, and 181. Okay, so I can see this probably should have been 36 degrees, but it's hard to measure and draw accurately. In a triangle, the three angles add up to 180 degrees. Here, we are asked to draw an isosceles triangle with a 120 degree top angle. And we don't need to know anything else to be able to draw it, because I can just draw the angle. Right? Let me draw the angle, and then I will choose the sides. Let's say, if I want to draw an angle here, or maybe if I want to make it the top angle and draw it like here, and then measure angle of 120 degrees, There. And now to make it an isosceles triangle, I need to make sure that this and this sides will be congruent. So I need to choose again a side length, some number. Maybe we'll make it 20 centimeters this time. And now draw in the third side. Okay. Now I will measure those two base angles here, these ones. Now let's check what I get. Do I get them to be congruent? Okay, this is 30. All is well. As you can see, again, 30, 30 and 120 adds up to 180 degrees. I could have found out this 30 degrees even without measuring. I could have calculated it by subtracting 180 minus 120, which is 60, and dividing that by 2. I hope this was helpful.